How are we doing everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about smart controls. So let's dive right in. We have this track here called Piano and it's going to sound like this. Absolutely beautiful. So we're going to enable smart controls on this so that we can edit this track. And we can do that in a few ways. We can go to view and then show smart controls. You can see it's linked to the shortcut B if you'd like to do that. Or you can select it from this top menu inside of Logic. Uh, so there's a few ways of getting to it. Now, you open it up and it has this view. This is a default view for the particular track that I have selected. So if you go and open up one on, say, a track that you have in your project, it could be completely different from this view. And it will be completely different if you select, say, an audio file, or an audio track, sorry. Uh, so you can see that there's a tone, dynamics, and effects section. The tone is mapped to our EQ, dynamics to comp the compressor, and effects we have a delay, ambiance, and reverb, which uh, are different plugins as well. So, the power of smart controls is that we can combine multiple plugins into a single interface and edit these particular parameters inside of those plugins. So, this is also a live tool. So as I play, I can I can change these settings and it will uh, update live. So I'm gonna be playing with these. Alright, so I'm going to open up the channel EQ. So behind the scenes, these are just mapped to the particular parameters inside of different plugins on our track. And they don't even have to be plugins on our track. They can be plugins outside of our track as well. They can even be the ascends knob on a bus. As you can see, the ambiance and reverb are controlling the amount of send we are, the amount of our track that we are sending to our auxiliary tracks. So a very, very nice tool for us. And if we want to go in and edit these edit these by ourselves, I'm going to be coming out with another tutorial on that very soon. But let's jump in to another track. You can see a couple things change here. The mix changed and the ensemble changed. So what's going on here is that we have a track stack with a grand piano and a strings. And we can map different plugins or different parameters inside of our smart controls to even the tracks inside of it and even to the auxiliary track containing this track stack or the master track basically. Uh, so we can edit not only the, the tracks inside but the main one as well. And this is powerful because this integrates very well with our track stacks which we want to use as much as possible. So we can say we can change this to say change the volume of the entire track while these are the volumes of the tracks contained inside of it. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of power here inside of our smart controls. And it's a quick and easy way to just get a, a good mix on our tracks. Uh, and then we can go in maybe after we're done recording and setting and tracking and doing everything, we can go in and, and like dive in to these particular plugins and make sure that they are perfect. So everyone, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, take that survey in the description below to take my or choose my next tutorial, and I'll be seeing you all very soon. You guys have a great day.